I think this was back in uh, 84, 85. Sorry for the noise. Uh, me and my dad and uh, all my uncles, my dad's brothers, we was all sitting on the porch. And there was no women around us. So, you know, us men was talking about guns and military. Now, first of all, all my dad's brothers are highly educated. I got an uncle who's a doctor in mathematics. He taught the university for 30, 35 years. My other uncle is a retired electrician from Ford, Ford Motor Company. And my other uncle was an electrician and repairman in the coal mines. All educated. My uncle has a doctor in mathematics. He was a mechanic in the Air Force, and he went through a lot of college. He finally became a doctor in mathematics. Anyway, we was all sitting there, and my dad spoke up, and I'm going to quote my dad. <laughs> he said, and I'll, I'm going to abbreviate. My dad said, why in the F, you know, foul language, why in the, you know, F-bomb, the, the old F-bomb, Dad said, why in the F doesn't Russia attack us, the United States? Why in the F doesn't Russia attack us, the United States? Good old America. And one of my uncles, I forget how he put it, but he says something to the effect, well, they ain't got this. For example, mass production. I can't remember if that's exactly the words he used, but he says, they haven't got this. We got that. It's always been that way. And he said, it would be high casualty rate on both sides. Sure, be high casualty rate. But, then my dad broke in. But, you mean, we could, my dad says, but, you mean, we could finally, finally, finally get them. They would surrender. We would claim victory. Dad says, you mean, we would finally get them? And my uncle says, yes. It'd be bad on both sides. But the United States were a world leader in power. We spend the most budget on military power. We would finally get them. My dad used the word finally three times. We would finally, finally, finally get them. We would get Russia. Claim victory. And my uncle said, yes.